Ryan married a beautiful Blake, yeah. sexiest man in the world, all those things. Oh, and yeah, she is the sexiest man, man in the world. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's done well there. That's a good shot right there. Yeah. Look, Look at, at you. you. Look at oh, you just. Beautiful and happy. Yeah. Right? So annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but to cheer us up, when you started kind of being interested in girls, you weren't as that cool or smooth with it. No. No. No, not at all. I was, oh, I don't believe it. No, no, no. I really, I went through puberty at like 27. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it was a freak thing. Yeah, yeah it was not good. Yeah. 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 Uh, who's the, the girl, who's the girl in school? The first, the first girl. The first, well, I was obsessed with this, this girl, uh, uh, Fiona Gorchinsky, mm. who, uh, uh, is she, she, yeah. <laughs> she, she used to, and she used to actually, she used to take the bus the, the, the opposite way of my actual home. And I would get on the bus just to sit next to her. Wow. For 45 minutes the wrong way. Oh, there's something wonderful about that. There was that. something wonderful. Yeah, I'm moronic. I, 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 <laughs> I love it when, it when you're young, it's so cute. When you're older, it's just stalking. <laughs> you're like on some kind of watch list. And you're, yeah, but, but I remember when I was, I couldn't have been more than, I don't know, 11 years old. And I, and I, I was just about to get off the bus because enough is enough. I'm about to enter like Seattle or something. So <laughs> I'm starting to get off the bus and I decided to like kind of hit her with like this cool look or something like this, like one of these like real yeah. sort of Don Johnson, Miami Vice kind of things. Let me feel it, let me feel it, let me feel it. Right, you yeah. feel that? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I threw, I, I threw up in my mouth. <laughs> I do this. I do this move as I'm getting down off the bus, and I sort of delay a little too long, and the bus doors close on my backpack. Oh. On my backpack, and the bus just starts to leave. <laughs> I'm sort of like doing this, like, job, like banging on the side of the bus. The bus driver finally stops, opens the door, lets releases my you know <laughs> idiot. Back, 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 and I, I could never look at her again. Yeah, Aww. yeah, that was terrible. Aww. Yeah, well, she's really looking terrible. at you now. Yeah, she sure is. <laughs> sure is. Can you imagine? She's like, he's the guy with the backpack. <laughs> he's the idiot with the Ren and Stimpy backpack. <laughs> Welcome back to everybody, apart from you, Jody. Yes. Never been here before. I feel like I've won a competition. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, because it, it is incredible. You know, because obviously everyone got to know you and Dr. Foster, but then killing Eve and suddenly a global superstar. Yeah, it's been a good year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, someone has been binge-watching. Yeah. Oh, Have you watched the whole thing? I haven't watched season two yet because I've been traveling oh. uh, when it came out. I'm already but, um... into season two. Oh, yeah, I've already anything. seen. He got one off. But Jodie yeah. Markle, when I found out you were on the show, I was standing up and I just actually fell to the floor. I was so excited oh, that you were here. You. Such a fan. Thank you. That's so oh, surreal. Dan wow. <laughs> Radcliffe, have you watched Killing Eve? I've already apologized for not having watched it back. <laughs> <laughs> Let him live. Yeah, thank just you. about. Yeah. Yeah. You can ask the questions later. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen the Goonies. What? <gasps> and and we did a film together. I think I might have pretended that I had. Oh. I know. Is that really shocking to you? It is shocking, only because I've met one other person who hasn't is seen, it? or at least admitted. Well, admitted. who has seen the Goonies I know, here? Right there. Obviously, a lot of people are lying because no. that was like half. Yeah, no. Yeah. These two people, no, no idea. No, no never idea. seen the no Goonies. Idea. They've really? never seen this show. They don't know who anybody is. <laughs> you should see the Goonies. You should have some access to outside information. Yeah. <laughs> you should just go now and yeah. uh, Google it. Yeah. Excuse. It's very good. Do you get most recognized? Do you know who he is? You know, you know who. He is. Yeah. Oh, you do. Oh, oh, you're fine. Then you stay. <laughs> And the whole thing that Villanelle, because she is this is quite an extreme character, presumably you get extreme reactions from fans and things when you when you meet people in the street. Yeah, I mean, you, a lot of people just look at me and think, "Is it her?" But I had one recently that was really strange. Someone asked me um, for a photograph, and I was like, "Yeah, sure," and, and was um, posing for a photograph, and then she quietly just whispered in my ear, "Will you strangle me?" <laughs> <laughs> And my brother's sister was with me at the time, and she was like, no. Miss <laughs> <laughs> no, Comer will not do that. <laughs> no. Jodie, was that Betty? She does that. Yeah. <laughs> Talking of uh, pumped up, you get to wear the suit. Yeah. Which is a nice, you know, kind of like, I'm wearing a suit. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's sort of like a big red body condom. Yeah, but yeah, sure. But <laughs> call it a suit, whatever you want. But Josh, like, that, it's really you that, like... Hey, you're... hey, hey! <laughs> The suit, okay. I'm sorry. Right? You should, like put the suit on, sort of like, like it's just like into a team it. of people that get that thing on. Like, and I'm always like so terrified I'll like throw up in the mask or something, you know. I have all these weird oh, oh yeah, sneeze. Do you ever sneeze in the mask? I have you all did. the time. You have sneezed. I have one of those like scratches that you just 
Yeah, so. no, nothing. There's nothing that can help. There's no space in that thing at all. When I put it on, I can actually taste my own genitals. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's like, Oh, yeah. Do they roll you in talc or something? Uh, I do. Yes. But that's just that's just when I get home for my wife. The smell of lavender. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, there's something about him that he oozes that he's worked out, even though he has a suit on and all that. When I went and did Avengers, you know, I saw those guys put on suits and I saw underneath, like, I was like, you're not working out at all. And I won't say who it is. <laughs> and then they put on the suits and they looked fantastic. They yeah. looked amazing. Whereas him, his suit doesn't really have any bumps and stuff that's not there. So I know that he's back in his thing because he's kind of like the Daniel Day-Lewis of comedians. You know what I'm saying? Very method. Whereas me, <laughs> as a 50-year-old man who gets sore, I put myself through torture for mm, you. Yeah. <laughs> and boy, did it pay off. It really did. I got shredded. I know. Incredible. It's crazy. And, and what was nice was you kept your fans up to date. You posted uh, videos of your, of your workouts. Here's one of the, the videos of you working out. Were you involved in that, Ryan? Uh, no, I had no, nothing but he to had. do with no, that. No, for sure you did, because it was very indirect. You were in that bathroom, admit it. I was, I filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. And, like, did you run it past uh, Josh that you were going to involve his, his stepmom in the movie? Oh, yeah, Barbara Streisand? No, no, I didn't talk to Josh about no, that at all. No, he just said, yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, no, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he thought I was kidding. I was I, like, no, I did. Yeah. And then there was, I can't really talk about it. There was a point where I heard the song, can I say when? Yeah, the song, yeah. Coming the, out of your mouth? Yeah, the Papa, Papa, can you hear Right, me? coming out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Keep, yeah. keep yeah. going. No, no, I, I wrote, Papa. <laughs> Papa, do you see me? <laughs> it's like, when Papa, you Papa, can it, you find me <laughs> in the night? <laughs> Yentl, sing, it's right? Very, it's, You've seen Yentl, not Goonies? Come on! <laughs> They gotta go. <laughs> 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 it's a cultural desert. Yeah. Because yeah. Ryan, what was the thing you were recognized? Was it a honeymoon couple on a on a plane? There were, uh, yeah, there's a couple on a. They were on a honeymoon, and the plane hadn't yet taken off, and the. Um, the the woman who just had just gotten married uh, just became violently and horribly ill on the plane. I mean, it was not like a pretty little like sick bag kind of thing. It was just like I'm going to paint with my organs. Like it was just <laughs> crazy, and people were freaking out all over the plane. And the and the, they're, they're, so they brought a stretcher down and they put her on the stretcher and they're wheeling her away and like. The the uh, her her new husband is just kind of cruising along with the thing, and he sees me, and he's like, Deadpool! <laughs> <laughs> no way! High five! And I'm and I'm like, I'm like I don't what do you like? What has she got? Like what's happening? Like, I don't wanna, you know, like you know, like he's like, let's touch eyeballs. <laughs> no, no. Like and by the way, your wife is like half dead. <laughs> Help her! Help her, man. So it was just a very surreal moment. I'm, I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they're on their second uh, anniversary now. Yeah. Ryan, the thing about you growing up, I love that the, you told stories about growing up, because your dad, it was like he was training you for paparazzi. He kind was of, very yeah. snap happy. Yeah, he was. I was actually, the saddest moment in our, in our childhood, and these are uptown problems, was <laughs> when they switched from film to digital. Because to my father, that was just like every day was the lottery. I mean, it was amazing because you could just take pictures and pictures and pictures, thousands of them. It could be the, like thousands of pictures of just a meatloaf that's blurry. <laughs> and what he would do is at the end of the night, he would email everyone in the family all the all my the photographs. Dad does that as well. Yeah, but the the thing is, this is back when like the internet was made of a fax machine of wood. Like it was just. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, ages just uploading like that yeah. when it went. And then you would the... download all of these things, and like you like it was so much material to download, you'd feel like the lights dim in your home. <laughs> like, yeah, money, like, this must be costing a fortune. And I got I used to say to him, I was like, Dad, can you stop? You don't need to send every photo. Like we don't need to see the blurry photo of the ceiling you took when you like just edit yourself. <laughs> Never did. So after a while, and I. I, I mean, I deeply regret this now. As, a, as an adult male, I have deep regrets for what I did. But I would take the camera sometimes in the middle of dinner and I'd just go in the bathroom and I'd just, just grab a quick shot of my penis. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd email it to everybody. Nana, <laughs> Aunt Kathy, Uncle Tim. Uh, Gramps got a few of those. Um, 
Did they what, think it was his, though? Um, no, I, well, that was his concern, which is what actually, in a, in a weird way, made the whole thing work for me. So after that, he became a strict editor. So you'd get just two <laughs> lovely family photos at the end of an evening, not 60,000 shots of a, nice. of a, you know, mashed potato. No, and a penis. And a penis. Yes, yes, yeah. I, was, I thought you were saying it looked like a mashed potato, and I was like, like that, that. <laughs> oh, but actually, very quickly, before we say another thing, I should just say, uh, if you are a Zayn Malik fan, I'm really sorry. And he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Yeah, no, because you, you were upset. Ryan was upset. I was. Yeah, no, I, I, I saw your, with your, your, your tweet. I, yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> no, I was hurt, you know? He, Zayn Malik's really making me regret the Zayn Malik tattoo I have on my back. <laughs> <laughs> it's making it difficult. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan tweeted when he heard the news of the cancellation. Zayn is not the Graham Norton show with me anymore. I'll still go, but obviously I got my lips done for nothing. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe not for nothing. Maybe not for nothing. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. 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 Hello. So there's a nice picture of you in Rome, enjoying each yep. other. Oh, no, there we are. Aww. There we are. Oh, boy. Yeah, I could love, feel love Josh there. falling deeper and deeper there. <laughs> that is like your honeymoon picture. It really is. Like, it looks sort of like CGI in the background. Like, we didn't, we weren't actually outside. Yeah, we weren't actually in Rome. Well, yeah. 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 like, this morning, I mean, I, I told him this this morning. I wrote a text to him last night, and I said, you know, I've really had a good time. Like, these things cannot be so fun, and then sometimes they can be fun, and you I said... You don't have no, to I, I am gonna it. Tell was it was a love letter. It was a love letter. <laughs> it was a very intimate love letter that I felt really forth, good yeah. about not only how it was written, but the heart behind it. Yep. And then this morning, I went down to the gym, and the first person I see, the only person I see in the gym, is him, and you want to do nothing but avoid the person <laughs> yeah. that you wrote the text yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, we both barely made eye contact. Barely. But you did, very awkward. But you, you had feelings for Ryan before you met Ryan. Are you telling me this, or is this something <laughs> you, something you said? You said it in... No, I have said it. I saw the proposal, and I have no shame yeah. in saying that even though I saw it alone all three times, <laughs> that I was a fan. Wow. I am a fan. I just can't you know, not wrap my head around you That's sitting not... and watching the proposal. Yeah. No, like, I'm... not at all. Look at, yeah, right. look at that. Yeah. Look at that. I can see you watching and just being like, fuck this guy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I felt that when I saw Green Lantern. Okay, yes, yes. <laughs> so did I. But, Ryan, we don't think of Canadians as having accents, and yet you oh, say... Oh, we do. You've lost oh. your accent, you would say. Yeah, I've, I sort of trained myself out of it, but, you know, I go back home and it, it, it pops up again. It's, uh... That's all Ottawa. Uh, I hear that's all Ottawa. Oh, yeah, it's right? Ottawa. It's all, I can hear Ottawa. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> say about. about. Uh, it's a... Uh, well, in Canada, it's a boat. And that's what I'm saying. A boat. Say it the a way boat. you say what it. What are you talking about? What are you about, talking about? about? But it's all my... Everything is... I, I, it's a bad word, but I'm sorry. So, it, you handle everything with, oh, fuck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> And is it something about the Canadian accent that makes you a really bad liar? Um, yeah, well, yeah, we're not, we're not good at, at lying or fighting, really. <laughs> I mean, fighting is That's terrible. good, that's good. It's all slappy and uh, <laughs> you know, it's not very sexy. Yeah. But weren't you, caught, weren't you caught at the border trying to oh, lie? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was, I, I, my wife is a foodie and she, we, she loves these uh, apple pies that they make at this, at this place in Vancouver where I grew up, so we grabbed a bunch of them and headed, we were driving back down to the States and we were across the border. You're not allowed to cross the border with, like, yeah, vegetables. Illegal. That's, that's illegal, illegal yeah, right? Yeah, it's illegal. But th and this guy knew something was going on and, and uh, we get up to the border crossing. And, Hush, Douglas. Yeah, pie smugglers. I'm an actor. <laughs> like most, most like Hollywood actors, they have like a kilo of cocaine in the car. It's got pies, you know. Uh, so, uh, so, but he knew something was going on, right? Yeah, the pie face. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. The pie face. Like a terrible, terrible line. The worst spot. poker face. The worst pie face. Ever. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, and uh, he, he says, uh, and I always, my voice always gets really high when I'm when I'm like lying. He was like, you got anything? Any, any sort of fruit? Any vegetables? Anything like that? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he's basically, he, he, he just had me on the hook and he looks at me and he goes, Hey, I remember that, you, you remember that movie you did, that movie Just Friends? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, you know that song at the end of it where you sing that's I Swear by All For One? And I was like, yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no. Basically, he was saying, dance, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you dance. I dance. Oh, okay. I'm that thing in the best falsetto. <laughs> I was on my way to the border eating pie by the next stop. <laughs>